For Feed My Pet Friday this week, we will be watching not one, but two of my Western Hognose snakes eat. Mostly because this one does not waste any time in eating her mouse. It takes her a couple seconds to figure out why there's a camera in front of her, but then she latches on pretty quickly. This is my female, supposedly pastel morph hognose snake, but she's the one that I have yet to see any difference uh, between her and just a normal face hognose, so I have my doubts, but whatever. She's still a cutie, and I really like her. I love her ravenous appetite. It's just fantastic. She eats for me about once a week or so. She eats yeah, a small hopper like this one right here, and hopefully she will be big enough to breed next year. Then I always like watching this part, that spaghetti tail going down. Okay, since she ate the mouse insanely fast, I figured I'd film one more. So we're going to be feeding my little female Het Snow, which means she is Het for albino and exanthic. I have a male ready to pair, and she's trying to eat the cave. All right, uh, she's not the brightest. Anyway, she has a male that will be pairing with her when she's big enough, but she is very small. She's still just eating fuzzies, as you can see. So she's got a bit of time before she's going to be one of our breeders. But she probably has the biggest appetite out of any of our hognose snakes, and you'll see why in a little bit. I mean, first off, she just grabbed it sideways and didn't care. And the reason why hognose snakes grab their food sideways quite often is because in the wild, when they're eating toads, they will grab the toad sideways, and then the toad will kind of puff up in defense, and then the hognose snake's enlarged rear teeth will kind of pop open the toad and deflate it. So there is a reason as to why hognose snakes grab their food sideways all the time. But with mice, they do have to line it up, head first, preferably, before they can finally start eating it. Once it's lined up, though, it goes pretty quickly. I wasn't originally planning on pursuing the snow morph, but I got a really good deal on this pair, and I really like both albino and exanthic hognoses, so I figure I'll just try to breed both of them. And if, I, if they throw a couple snows in the meantime, that works too. Now this girl, as soon as she's done eating, she's looking for more food. And here she tries to eat my finger. So I put her back in her enclosure, and again, right away, she starts chasing after my hand, thinking that it's more food for her. It must be, right? She even starts coming out of her bin, chasing me for more food. Which is what I love about this snake. I love that she just is obsessed with food. So I use it to my advantage, and I'll let her follow my finger back into her bin, which tends to work like a charm. Anyway, there's a couple of my western hognose snakes eating for you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday, and we'll see you then.